Hey guys, it's Sarah here. In this video, I'm going to be going over pressure injuries. I'm going to give you a way to remember that you're never going to forget it again. And I'm also just going to go over, you know, the risk factors, um, who gets it, etc. So before I get started, I'm just letting you know that everything I say right now is going to be in a PDF form in the link below. You can look in the description box and you'll find it. And let's get started. So what is a pressure injury? A pressure injury is damaged skin from sitting too long and it usually occurs over bony prominences so think of your heel your tailbone etc so who's at risk to for getting this number one immobility if someone's immobile not moving they're usually the number one people who get a pressure injury number two malnutrition so think of someone who lost all their fat and it just very bony so it's just bone on whatever they're sitting on and then you know that could cause a pressure injury another thing that could cause a pressure injury is incontinence so if someone um you know is in a diaper and they're not changed often the stool um you know it wears away at the skin after a while if they're not changed and also decreased sensory so like a diabetic etc so the way you assess if, if someone's at risk for it, it's called the Braden score. So basically, it's just going to ask a lot of questions, just like the risk factor. Are they immobile? Are they incontinent? Like stuff like that. And then you're going to give them a grade and see if they're at risk for pressure injury or not. Now, if they are at risk, how do you prevent it? So some ways you could prevent it is, number one, repositioning. So you keep turning them, you know, from left side to right side. You know, you put a pillow underneath, etc. You also do incontinent care. So, um change them don't keep them in their diaper for a long time and and then also they have mepilex which is um a dressing you could put on top we could also put barrier cream moisturizer stuff like that now we go on to the stages so the way i'm going to help you remember all the stages is by um an analogy so stage one think of a red apple if you press down on the right red apple, it's not going to change any color, right? It's just going to stay the same color. So that's a stage one. Stage one is just a redness. You can press down and up, it will still be red. So just like a fresh apple. Number two is, in this picture over here, is like a peeled apple. So when you peel away the apple, you're only peeling the level of the skin. You're not peeling, it's not any, any further. So that's pretty much what a stage two is, which is a partial thickness. It's basically the outer layer, the epidermis, um, is coming off. Stage number three is if you took a chunk out of that apple, like this. So once you took a chunk out of that apple, you're going to see, um, so the skin is gone and you can see like the meat of the apple. So, so too in a stage three, which is the full thickness, you could see like the yellow. So like the fat, the layer underneath. So that's the same thing stage four so stage four is basically if you ate around just like this if you ate around the whole entire apple when you see the core so you see the seeds in the core and everything else like that so that's a stage four is you went through the sub q you went through the epidermis you went through all that and you just see the muscle you see the white the muscle the tendon sticking out you see all that um and that's a full thickness with skin loss so let me just recap that so basically Stage one, red, just like a regular red apple. You push down on it, same thing. Stage two is when you peel off the peel, just like on a person, the epidermis level comes off. Stage three is when you bite into the apple, you could see the inside, but you don't necessarily see the core yet. You're just seeing, um, you know, like the fatty layer, um, the sub Q, like the yellow. Stage four is when you actually see the core of it. So, so too, you see like the muscle, the tendon, the white part of it. Now we go on to unstageable. So think about um, a caramel apple. You put caramel on top of the apple. It's going to change it. You're not going to be able to see what's inside. Inside could be great apple. Inside could be rotten apple. You have no idea. It's just coated. So the same thing is with an unstageable. It's completely coated with black eschar. You can't see anything. So you can't stage it because you don't know what's inside. The next one is deep tissue. So with a deep tissue, think of like an apple with a brown spot on it. It's just one little brown spot. So um, you know there's damage there, but you don't know the extent and what's inside. 
and that's a deep tissue injury which has like a purple spot you know like purple coloring so so i hope that helped you if you like this video in a pdf form please check out the description box below please like subscribe and stay tuned thank you bye